All right, it's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning, and the time is right again uh, to celebrate all the latest and the biggest news uh, making the rounds to the world of sports. This uh, fantastic uh, Tuesday morning. Um, it's the day number 28 in the beautiful month of March uh, 2017. Uh, I was a night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a brand new day. The time is right again to preach the gospel to you according to the world of sports uh, on this uh, radio station that keeps you fresh uh, all the days of your life. Uh, Welcome on board a fresh 50 minutes set aside to celebrate the biggest news in the world of sports. Don't get it twisted. This is the voice of your radio friend, Kenny Ogumilero, reporting for duty on Fresh FM 105.9, the moving train, the Chelsea Football Club, and the Jagaban of the radio stations in the southwestern part of Nigeria. The program is Fred Sport. Are you ready for the ride? Let's do it again. Again, in the next 15 minutes, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate basketball stories on the program this morning. Taking a look at the result of the games that went down last night from the court of the 2017 NBA regular season, and of course, the games expected tonight. The games expected to be decided later tonight as the NBA continues. From the exciting world of football, ladies and gentlemen, Nigerian Professional Football League is in the news once again. This is a lovely Tuesday morning. Okay, last weekend in South Africa, Nigerian Premier League under 17 All Stars represented Nigerian League in the Guanteng under 17 Invitational Tournament. Nigerian Premier League under 17 team under the tutelage of ex Super Eagles captain and coach Austin Egovain. Went all the way to the final. They lost the final against Atletico Madrid by one go to two. Okay, let me tell you this. The Nigerian boys are talking about Nigerian Premier League under 17 boys. The boys are back in the country in the course of the program. Head coach of the team are talking about Austin Eguivon Zerazo. We'll be talking to Nigerians about the MPFL under 17 All Stars and some of the players that represent the Nigerian League in the under 17 tournament will also be taking holes in the course of the program and celebrating the games coming up across every part of the world and don't forget it's still very much international football world cup qualifiers are coming up later today in the common board division are talking about the south american version not forgetting the games coming up tonight in the quanka Cup, and of course in the asian division not forgetting a couple of friendly games are going down today across the various part of the world time check is eight to four no time to waste time and let's quickly get the program on the road celebrating basketball stories NBA games that were played last night. So Sacramento Kings defeated the Memphis Grizzlies 91 to 90 point. The Santa Antonio Spurs had defeated the champions, the Cavaliers, 103 to 74 points. Kawhi Leonard in the colors of the Santa Antonio Spurs netted a massive 25 points, six rebounds, and only six assists. Other games a result coming from the hard court of the NBA. Toronto Raptors defeated Orlando Magic. 131 to 112 points. New York Knicks are defeated the Detroit Pistons 109 to 95 points. Dallas Mavericks lost at home to OKC Thunder 91 to 92 points. Only one point separated Dallas Mavericks away from the OKC Thunder. And the last game for last night, Utah Jazz lost at home to New Orleans Pelicans 108 to 100 points. I beg your pardon, Utah Jazz defeated the New Orleans Pelicans 108 to 100 100 points. Anthony Davis desperate lose of the game in the colors of the New Orleans Pelicans. Anthony Davis netted 36 points, 17 rebounds, and just three assists. The game continues tonight. Charlotte's honored to be at home against the Milwaukee Bucks. Indiana Pacers will be at home against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Other games are coming up tonight from the ad court of the NBA. A Brooklyn Nets will be at home against Philadelphia 76ers. Detroit Pistons will be at home against Miami Heat. 
All the games are coming up tonight. Atlanta Hawks will be at home against the Phoenix Suns. The Los Angeles Lakers will be at home against the Washington Wizards. And the biggest game for tonight, Houston Rockets will be at home against the former champions. Talking about the Golden State Warriors. There is a lot to play for between James Arden in the colors of the Rockets up against Stephen Curry in the colors of the Golden State Warriors. Okay, we wish the guys all the very best. Leaving basketball. Let's come down to the Nigerian scene and celebrate the Nigerian Professional Football League. After 15 rounds of games decided already in the Nigerian League, let me tell you these statistics made available by the league management company. After 15 rounds of games in the Nigerian Premier League 2017 soccer season, a total of 144 games, let me say that again, a total of 144 games have been played already in the Nigerian League and a massive 274 goals. Let me say that once again, a total of 200. 74 goals have been recorded so far in the Nigerian League. May God continue to bless the Nigerian League, one of the fastest growing soccer league on the continent of Africa. Still celebrating the Nigerian League. Let's celebrate the young boys talking about the MPFL under 17 All Stars. Don't forget the last weekend in South Africa, Nigerian Premier League under 17 All Stars under the tutelage of Austin Egravoin were involved in the under 17 uh, Grand Tang Future Championship right here in South Africa. Under 17 boys from the Nigerian League went to South Africa to represent the Nigerian League. They went all the way to the final of the tournament. They were not lucky in the final because the Nigerian Premier League under 17 All Stars lost the final to Atletico Madrid under 17 by one go to two just like I said in my intro the boys are back in the country speaking yesterday head coach of the boys are talking about Austin Egravon was in charge of the MPFL under 17 All-Stars at the Guantanga Future Championship in South Africa when they touched down in Nigeria yesterday Austin Egravon spoke about the experience about the MPFL under 17 All-Star team let's take a Listen to the voice of the ex Super Eagles captain and coach Austin Egovan uh, talking about uh, the MPFL under 17 All Stars. It's about development, it's not about win win, you know, trying to be champions, you know. But at the same time, if you play a football game, at the end of the day, you want to try to win. But um, mixing up with a whole lot of different clubs from all parts of the world, I think it was a very good one. Uh, we had only nine days in camp, and some of the boys I don't even know by name. I only started learning their names when we got here. But be that as it may, I um, haven't played football for Nigeria, and people respect me. So giving back to the society was, was, was the key. So I had to do it. Um, but the, the good thing is, boys, the response in training, you know, day by day was improving. So I was a bit, um, you know, um, happy about that. But credit to them. Uh, if not a lack of uh, concentration and defending set pieces of which these Europeans are very good at, I think we will have won that game. You see, teams like Enyimba, uh, Rivers, United, Rangers, um, it's, it's a pity that they didn't have you know, uh, players in this category. But Wiki Tourist, uh, here represented, Niger Tornadoes, uh, Camel Pillars, a few of them came, Nasara United, um, Katsina and Gombe United. And that is quite um, good. So now, it's not going to stop at this. The NFF and LMC have taken it upon themselves, and clubs are now craving to try as much as possible to make sure they, they join the train. Otherwise, they will always lose out. Because there's always going to be a platform to, for these boys to showcase you know, the talents God has given to them. And mind you, we came here now with only 20 players from only six clubs. So and we have 20, 20 clubs in premiership, and go beyond that, and there's um, NNL. So they have, we have a lot of talents in the country. So once they key into this, I think we'll see a very bright future for Nigeria football.
You just listen to the voice of the head coach, Nigerian Professional Football League under 17 All Stars. Okay, let me confirm this to you. Shooting Stars Football Club of your state also gets one of the players. One player came from the camp of Shooting Stars into the MPFL under 17 team. Okay, some of the players that played at the tournament also took their time to speak to media men when they got to Nigeria. Let's take a listen to the couple of voices of the players of the MPFL under 17 All Stars. The tournament was a great one. It was a fun one. Uh, I've learned a lot of a lot of things from my teammates, from other people, from other teams, from my coaches. Because uh, here yeah, I met people I've never seen before, and I played together with them, and we played as a team, and we did well. So it was a good one. It was a good experience for me. It was good, sure. That's because we get to play with other teams. To we like it's an exposure to us. We get to play with the European teams and some of our African teams. So it, it was good, sure. Yeah. Some of the mistakes we made that we concede goals, like our coach, he made mention of the that we should be careful about the dead ball situation. That they, they are very good in it, but maybe the defenders felt ignorant of it. So that was why we considered and we considered the two goals with the dead ball situation. So. Maybe if we go back home, we'll keep keep our heads straight and then correct those mistakes. Before they got to the final, the boys were unbeaten in the games they played. They were very unlucky in the final. They lost to Atletico Madrid by one go to two. The future is bright for the Nigerian League. These are the future of the Nigerian Professional Football League on the 17 boys. I must commend the league management company for this initiative, for this brilliant idea towards ensuring that the Nigerian Premier League continues to move higher. Okay, let's leave the Nigerian Nigerian scene because of my time and let's quickly go to the couple of games I played uh, talking about a friendly games I decided yesterday across some part of the world and some of the friendly games I played on the continent of Africa let me confirm to you that the Lions of Senegal talking about the Terenga Lions of Senegal and African champions former African champions talking about the elephant of Cote d'Ivoire they played a game yesterday at the end of the game it ended one goal apiece up between Senegal or up against Elevant of Cote d'Ivoire. Still talking about the result of the friendly games played yesterday. Uh, Turkey defeated Moldova by three goals to one. Mauritania defeated Congo by two goals to one. And talking about the friendly games coming up tonight, uh, selected games. Uh, South Africa talking about uh, the Bafana Bafana of South Africa will be up against the Palancas Negras of Angola in one of the friendly games set to go down today. Carthage Eagles of Tunisia will be up against the Atlas Lions of Morocco in the friendly game today. Euro champion talking about Portugal national team will be taking on Sweden national team later today in one of the friendly games. Other friendly games are coming up today in Europe. France up against La Fura Rojas of Spain. France versus Spain is one of the friendly games today. The Oranges are talking about the Dutch national team are will take on the Azuris of Italy in the friendly game today. I don't forget Get Dutch FA. Couple of days ago, decided to sack the manager. Talking about Danny Blind. Other games are coming up today. The Pharaohs of Egypt up against the Ox of Togo. Russia will be up against the Red Devils of Belgium. Ireland will take on Iceland today. Luxembourg will take on Kiveda. And of course, Austria will be at home against Finland. And some of the friendly games are coming up today. And talking about the road to the Russia 2018 and World Cup. The qualifier continues today in the South American division. Uh, Bolivia will take on the Alba Celeste of Argentina, 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Ecuador will take on Colombia, 10 p.m. Nigerian time. Uh, Chile will be at home against Venezuela, 11 p.m. Nigerian time in the CONCACAF division. Uh, don't forget the CONCACAF region has reached the final stage of the FIFA 2018 World Cup qualifier. One game is coming up tonight. Uh, Honduras will be at home against uh, Costa Rica. Uh, and of course in the Asian division, a uh, third round of the qualifiers, uh, 
South Korea versus Syria, 12 p.m. Nigerian time. Iran will take on China, 1 p.m. Nigerian time. Uh, Japan will take on Thailand, 11.35 a.m. Nigerian time. Australia versus United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia will be at home against Iraq national team in the World Cup qualifier coming up today in the Asian continent. It's 8.15 on the clock. 15 minutes, go left 15 seconds. Let me wrap up the show for this beautiful Tuesday morning. But don't forget, 4.30 p.m. later tonight, later this evening, the time will be right again to celebrate all the latest news making the rounds in the world of sports. Until then, my name is Kenny Ogumilero. God bless you for listening to the show. Big thanks to my studio manager talking about Olumi wa Akiso Jia The Breakfast Bunny Show continues with the big tea. Talk about Edward. I will see you this evening. I'm hard of you. Fresh 105.9 FM. Your feel good radio. Hero Pencho. PFA. The future. Our passion. There comes a time in everybody's life when you go walk so take come retire there will be no more salary but you are meant to live happily we know your future is bright and we love to see you smile we will always be there for you we will always be there for you there's a lot of sunshine on the side you deserve to be on the brightest side you will find a special place in lead way and shop Future uh, passion. <laughs> <laughs>